Started out as an idea, something I've been wanting to do for a couple of years, and um, the opportunity presented itself through the Shifting Foundation. Um, contacted me and asked if I'd be if I had a big project, you know, that needed funding, and they were very excited about the project. And um, so we we went ahead, and I had about a year to write the music. And at the time I was, you know, pregnant and uh, also waiting for my son, so it was a busy time. And finished the music in was it January of last January? Last, yeah, last yeah. year. Played a concert at Roulette in New York, and then went into the studio and recorded the next day. So it was a whirlwind, just re rehearsing right before the concert and. Here we go. Well, I was thinking about writing for a string trio or string quartet, and um, I don't know, I thought, you know, so many people write for string quartets and how can I, you know, change the angle slightly and still have that opportunity to play with, you know, similar instrumentation and score it in a similar way. Um, so I was thinking about, you know, using bass clarinets. It's one of my favorite instruments. And then the piano, guitar, um, organ, you know, the three chordal instruments. Um, in a way, that was just a... I just wanted to challenge myself, you know, what, what am I going to do with three chordal instruments? It's, it's, it's uh, wonderful. It's like a dream come through, and especially the, these guys, they're all really amazing clarinet players. A lot of them I've been listening to since I was a you know, teenager. People like Ben or mm -hmm. everybody has such a beautiful sound and such great players. And then to, to be able to make this massive sound with four bass clarinets, it's really special. Just, I started thinking about you know my favorite ba bass clarinet clarinetist and um, it you know it ended up being that Ben is from California and Andrew is from Detroit and Joachim's from Belgium and you know we were all spread out and it's really amazing that this group can come together and perform um, these guys are just so the dedication just blows me away it's, it's such a special project for me so um, I just feel, you know, very blessed that I have these guys in the band. Just living in New York, you know, it's loud wherever you are, and then I have a two-year-old, so it's, you know, the silence is... Yeah, it's, def it's definitely a big difference <laughs> that I noticed when I went to New York and lived there for a while how loud the city is compared to, yeah, to here, to, absolutely. to say Ghent. Yeah, we were just walking around and, and noticed that, you know, no one here is talking on their cell phone while they're walking in New York. Everybody's talking, you know, just it's a different, different atmosphere. That's nice. <laughs> Different. There's there's this this distance on the on the stage and the sound also is it's less acoustic. So you, mm -hmm. you kind of have to trust uh, the sound engineers and, and yeah. hope that what you're doing on stage that it, it 
it comes across. Yeah. And just staying connected with what you're doing and the musicians, you know, who you're playing with and what everybody's doing. It's almost, um, I don't know, it's almost like its own. You're up on the stage playing together and you just focus on that and hope that it comes across and that it sounds good in the audience. I mean, the venue's completely different. Um, when I played before, it's been in the club, and I think I've played there twice now, and it's always a great place to play. It sounds really good in there, the audience is enthusiastic, and um, I always enjoy coming to Ghent, and, you know, the festival, the, the people that work for the association, um, they really treat musicians well, and, you know, it's a, nice, it's a nice place to land when you're on tour, so we always look forward to coming.